What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Nisha, back with another video. Um, as you can see, new hair, new me. Yes, finally went and got my hair done. I got a haircut today, and I am loving it. Oh, my goodness, I'm loving it. Yep, I'll be back with my braid soon, but I needed a haircut, so decided to um, just go ahead and let her curl a sister up, give me some layers, you know, give me those curls. But anyway... I'm about to now go in here and get my nails done um, because, you know, sometimes you just have to have that day for yourself and that's what today is. So I'm getting my hair done, my nails done, and then I'm going to get back to household stuff. So my plan is to go ahead and put those dressers together and, well, not dressers, nightstands together. And I need to go to the paint store and get some paint and whatever else we need to do. So stay tuned, let's get to it. Hey guys, so I just got home from getting my hair and nails done and Dante already started putting together the nightstand, AKA nightstands, cause you know, they're actually dresses, but they're gonna be nightstands. <coughs> so <laughs> I will show you what they look like when he's done. But tomorrow we're gonna get up and we're gonna go to the paint store and get the things that we need to actually really transform these dressers into what we want them to look like. Stay tuned. Good morning, y'all. So today is, I think, Saturday, and me and the girls, as well as Kai, are at Sherwin-Williams. I'm sorry for the lighting, but we're in a store, so. Um, but anyway, so we are trying to find paint for today's project, and then we're going to go home probably and get started. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Another woman that could take your spotlight. If I wrote you a symphony, just to say how much you mean to me, what would you do? If I told you you were beautiful, okay, so what I think I want to end up doing is getting some. Um, samples to see what the colors look like in the actual space before I make a huge commitment. So I think that's the plan. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey guys, so I just got back from um, the store and it didn't quite go as planned, but either way, we were able to get, got paint, put it that way. All right, so anyway, this is what they're looking like. Those are going to be the nightstands. We did not put, well, Dante did not put the knobs on there because remember in the last vlog, I showed you all the handles that I ordered from Amazon and ended up going with tri tricorn, yeah, tricorn black, which is the actual color of the front door. Um, so we ended up going with that color because it was like the only black that I really, really liked that was like true black. So we got that and it is the cabinet and furniture paint he told me that this is really good it comes with the primer already mixed in it and you don't have to worry about like it like dings or anything like that he said that it'll be very durable for the project so that's what we ended up doing and i ended up just getting these little small rollers this is for the bedroom which is just some um, um like the painter's tape you know the trim because that's my next project some brushes for like the corners and this wood filler because this is going to fill the these holes and because i'm lazy i didn't want to have to sand so this one said it will fill those holes without me having to um, sand and it saves time. So I'm gonna try this. If it doesn't work, then I'm gonna have to go back to the store, but hopefully it does. And I got drop cloths. I got drop cloths because Dante brought these up already. So I don't wanna get the carpet messed up and I don't wanna have to carry them back downstairs and then bring them back upstairs. First thing first is me filling this and letting it dry. And then Ariel and I are gonna paint. 
As you can see, by the way, I am sitting in a still empty loft. Furniture did not come again today. But guess what? Everything must still go on. So I'll just keep busy with DIY projects, shopping hauls, and hopefully one day the furniture will magically appear. All right. So let's get started. dried in 45 minutes but then I went and took a nap I cooked dinner we ate dinner but here we are I got on my paint clothes and I'm about to start painting let's get it done I would like to get to know pretty fast. Little pink. Little pink. Little pink. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and start with the second coat of paint and let's get started. All right. So the second coat is complete. I got paint everywhere. <laughs> so I'm going to go take a shower and we're going to call it a night for today. So what we're going to do is basically just let the paint completely dry overnight and then in the morning, we will show you the, we, oh, wait, in the morning, we will check back in, show you what the paint is looking like and put the hardware on and show you the finished project. All right, see you in the morning. Are you a zombie? You a zombie? <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, good morning. It is the next day and we are up and ready to get started. The paint is completely dry on the dresser and the drawer. So we're gonna install the um, handles and wrap this up. All right, let me show you what we are working with so far. Okay, so excuse the um, zombie in the background. Um, <laughs> But anyway, this is what it looks like so far. And I paint it with the grain so that we can continue to see this actual wood really well. Um, this looks glossy on camera, but when you're 
like looking at it without it's not that's where the holes were but it looks really good if you could see it like without the camera but anyway um let's get started putting these handles on so i can show you guys the finished product okay so i'm not sure if this is the best way of doing this but this is going to be my way of doing this and i also saw um i think her name is tina Yi. tina you i'm not real sure um but anyway i saw her doing this and i was like that's my way too so this is how we're gonna do it so i'm gonna put some of this tape on there um on the top of this and measure out where the handles will go i do have a tape measure as well but i'm gonna put this across there and then i'm gonna put it's gonna basically like a um like a t and then i have a marker that i'm gonna use to mark the back of the where the hole will go so that's kind of like my spot. So let's see how this works out. And another woman that can take your spot, my dear. If I wrote you a symphony Just to say how much you mean to me What would you do? If I told you you were beautiful would you date me on the regular? Tell me, would you? Well, baby, I've been around the world But I ain't seen myself another girl Like you This ring here represents my heart But there's just one thing I need from you Say I do because I can see us holding hands, walking on the beach, our toes in the sand. I can see us on the countryside, sitting on the grassland side by side. You could be my baby, let me make you my lady. Girl, you amaze me, ain't gotta do nothing crazy. See, all I want you to do is be my love. So don't give away my love. So don't give away my love. So don't give away. And another woman that can take your spot, my love. So don't give away my love. So don't give away my love. And another woman that can take your spot, And another woman that can take your spot, If I wrote you a symphony Just to say how much you mean to me What would you do? If I told you you were beautiful Would you date me on the regular? Tell me, would you? Well, baby, I've been around the world But I ain't seen myself another girl Like you This ring here represents my heart But there's just one thing I need from you Say I do because I can see us holding hands, walking on the beach, our toes in the sand. I can see us on the countryside, sitting on the grasslands. Okay, so I have all of my holes drilled. I did do a tester on the first drawer, um, just to make sure that everything lined up correctly. Um, I will say that the holes that come with, I mean, the the um, screws that come with these packages. Well, dang it, there are some shorter ones in there. I didn't even see those. Where'd that come from? Anyway, they come with two sets of screws. The shorter screws works best. So, um, trial and error. My first one, I forgot to take the tape off before I screwed the, um, the nails on or whatever. So now I'm trying to get the tape off without having to take the thing back off, but most likely I'm gonna have to take it back off. But either way, it's working out, almost done, and I'll be back. That's a sword. That's a sword. That's a sword. Yeah. Oh, let's take off the sword. Yes. Oh, that's a stick. Stick is good. It's on the other side.
right guys we are finally at the end of this project and i am already in love with these nightstands i'm gonna so right now we need to put the drawers back in and so i can show you how they have come out so let's get to it let's finish this up so you can see too all right here we go This is the finished result of the dressers. They got a little bit of dust on them. I need to clean that off from where I was um, drilling the holes. But this is a $50 dresser that I've painted, added handles, and it looks so good. I am in love with this project. Like I said, it's a little dusty because I still need to get the dust off of it, but I wanted to close this video out so I could um, move on to doing something else. But I love them. Absolutely love them. I'm telling you, the camera is doing no justice. All right, so just a few things. Um, I will link all of the products that I used on this project down below. Um, but if you're thinking about doing something like this, the nails that I I purchased in the um, the handle sets, it came with two different sets of uh, screws. One of them was shorter, and then one of them was a longer one that you can actually break. It's like a it's called a breakaway nail. Those were a little difficult to use. I did try breaking away one. I did it, but it was a little tough. But the smaller ones or shorter ones worked out just fine. Um, when you're drilling your holes in there, always start with a smaller bit because you can always go bigger, but you can't go smaller. So that's what I did. Um, Lowe's and Menards. Home Depot, all of those stores like that do sell um, guides to help you drill holes for um, hardware. I just didn't buy one. So if that's something you're interested in, you should probably look to get one of those as well so that you're not like using the tape like I did. The tape works. It works and you know, I didn't have any um, major issues with it. Just like my, of course, like every project, your last one is always your most difficult one, but it worked out. I think they look beautiful. I can't wait to put them in the room um, and do my next DIY project, which will be um, probably in the next couple of days. We'll start on the master bedroom. Um, what else? I think that's pretty much it so once again thank you for watching if you are interested in this type of content please like comment and subscribe and if you already have subscribed thanks for becoming part of the family and i'll see you in the next video bye